Good evening, everyone. My name's Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and welcome back to another Lumber Tycoon 2 video. Merry evening of Christmas, the Christmas of Eves. It is time for uh, joy and merriment and snacks and food and family and love and all that good stuff and lumber. Ooh, I had an icon for a nose. It's kind of cool. Okay, anyhow, um, I am waiting to go across to the paint shop because somebody requested that I go over to the paint shop and see if there's any gifts in there. I know there is not. I've already been one time, but you know me, I like a good challenge. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna head over there and uh, we'll just see how it goes. Oh no, I fell in, no. That's okay, we got our way out. Um, Hoover already took off without me. Like right after I, I logged in, he took off. So I'm just gonna sit here. Sitting by the dock of the bay, watching the tides roll away. Sitting at the dock of the bay, wasting time. I'm not, I'm not a good singer. Oh, speaking of singing, this Friday, karaoke is off, okay? It's Cause it's, it's Christmas. It is Christmas day. And I don't want you guys taking time away from your family and friends and toys and gifts and loved ones and all that good stuff just to go and sing. So no karaoke this Friday. We'll continue it next week uh, into the new year. And with all the good fun and stuff that we're supposed to be doing, I had an idea um, for the speed run and I don't know if it's going to work or not because the cherry tree is actually kind of hard to chop and it doesn't give you much more money than uh, just a bunch of oak trees. So I'm thinking uh, I need to find the closest base to the drop off. And I think it's slot two and maybe, maybe slot two could be in fact, we could uh, speed run time test while we're waiting here. Um, so from the plot to the drop off, let's see how long it takes. Whichever one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight seconds, about eight and a half. Or, and we'll go both ways with this one, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, about six seconds, maybe six and a half. We'll try this one up here. <laughs> Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine horrible, horrible speeds. Horrible speeds. Okay, let's try this one. Whoa, got stuck. All right, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. About eight seconds. By the way, this is very unscientific, and I'm, I'm not using this stopwatch or anything one two three four five six seven about six and six minutes or six seconds and 45 milliseconds I don't I don't know but there's no other bases that are closer than that so that's it it looks like this base over here is the fastest for speed running um, and you would have to click P A S D E clap D one, two. Now you start on this one. So one, two, you'd have to click D twice, uh, at Reuven's in order to get it. So it'd be like, uh, one, two purchase and then escape reset. Boom. And you'd re reset. So that would, that would, uh, increase your speed. For getting that first little bit. <sighs> it's holiday. 
holiday season. You know what? I'm going to have to wait for the, uh, the truck to come back and I'm going to have to wait another seven minutes while it sits over here and does nothing. So I will pause it just so you guys don't have to um, sit through me doing all that. And I will talk to you in just a second. Oh, and I will unpause it for the uh, the trip over because I mean that's like part of the fun, us hanging out and talking. Ooh, he's here, he's here, he's here. Here we go. Hello, Mr. Hoover, sir. Hello there, cold. <laughs> How you been? Oh, I'm doing fine, doing just fine. Have you gotten any presents for uh, Christmas under your Christmas tree? Oh, I don't have a Christmas tree, cold. What What do you mean? I live right here on the ferry. Whenever I need a break, I just go down below and take a nap. But where? It's a secret entrance. Oh, okay. Uh, do you want to tell me about it so I can tell the fans? No, 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 I don't want them going down there. I've got my bed and all my personal belongings. I don't don't need people messing up my bed. Uh, okay, um, well, Merry Christmas and, and, and Happy New Year and, and Hanukkah. And if I don't get to see you again... You've been awesome. I, I, I love the, the fairy trips and stuff. Oh, thank you, Code. You've always been one of my most dedicated and loyal customers. Thank you. Um, is that why you gave me the gold card? Yeah, yes, yes. You are a super hoover now, and you don't have to pay me no more. Oh, thank, thank you. I appreciate that so much. Uh, <clears throat> oh, oh, oh. I completely forgot to unpause it. <laughs> well, we are on the way. And as you can see, off to our left or your right um there is the palm islands where we purchase or where we chop down our awesome palm trees and bring them on in i wonder i wonder if there's a way to chop down palm trees and transfer them to myself via uh like leaving them out because if you leave them if you leave them on the ground for too long, they lose ownership. But I, I can never tell how long that takes. Come on, come on. We're gonna we're gonna go check uh, see if the logic shop has anything cool. Um, probably not. It's probably the same as always. But then we're gonna head down to the paint shop, and then I'll show you the maze. You know, if you're if you're a huge fan of Lumber Tycoon 2, and oh gosh. I encourage you, I, I implore you, go play more Lumber Tycoon 2, and go play more Pro Jute, um, and pretty much any game by defaultio. If you've never played Cone, I think I needed to do another series on Cone. I, I've done it many times, but it seems like people just forget all the time. <laughs> the box art is messed up. I think he changed the model, but didn't update the picture. And the picture themselves on these boxes is actually controlled by uh, a camera itself on the object. So like the, the front of this, like this picture here, actually wait, where's the text? There's no text on the box, hold up. Oh, there's no text on the wires either. Maybe that's only on the axes. Is it only on the, the axes and the blueprints? I thought there was text on the box. Probably not. Nope, no text. Should we get a couple of these for the base? You could always always use more. I wonder. Hmm. No. Nope. Thanks, Link. You're welcome, Code. By the way, uh, for those of you who haven't figured it out, yes, I'm insane. <laughs> I, uh... Uh, I don't think it's actual craziness, but like talking to yourself and making up conversations with uh, NPCs that don't actually exist, that's, you know, a normal part of life. It's called pretend, and it's called imagination, and you should have fun with it. If you've never tried before, definitely try now. Ooh. Okay. So to get to the paint shop, once you get down here to the bottom, you're going to take a left right here and in this hallway right here whoa in this hallway right here you're just going to take another left right here okay go past the first entrance that one and go right then you're going to go left 
left a room, and there you are. You're at the paint shop. Let's see. Timothy, you didn't get anything for Christmas, bud. Oh, wee oui, wee. Oui. It's not the good year. I had the corona, and I could not go and purchase new presents. Oh, I'm so sorry about that, bud. I, I, I got the corona, too. And, um... Luckily, it, it was it was okay for us. My whole family got it. Oh no, chocolate chocolate blue, chocolate chocolate blue. I, I don't know. I'm so sorry, Gold. I did not know. You're all good now, right? Yes, yes. It's been five days since I've had the fever. Good, good. That means you're not contagious anymore. That's good. Very good for me. Bad for business. Nobody comes down here anymore because of the corona. I know. I know. Well. Hopefully, Defaultio, you know, he'll, he'll open it up and we'll we'll all get back to our normal lives. What do you think? Yes, yes, we will. <laughs> well, thanks for letting me look around again. Uh, I love the shop, as always. Love what you've done with the lights. Very cool. Oh, thank you, Cold. Thank you, Monsieur Cold. Bye. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh, no. Oh, no. Am I stuck, stuck? Oh, no. Oh. Whew. I, I gotta pull in here just a little bit. That's okay, good. There we go. All right, let's head out. I'll go back to the beginning and we'll we'll go check all the doors. Okay. I know that was that was kind of poopy. I mean, I was expecting like a paint uh, gift of some kind this year. We got the fire head last year. That was pretty cool. <laughs> Oh, 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 wrong way, wrong way. Whee! There we go. Wait, where am I? Hold up. What was that? Is this the right way? Ah, there we go. Long hallway. Take a right. Go around the little J-hook here. And door number one. Whoa. Nothing to see off to the left. And then we're going to go straight right here. Man, it's been a little while since I've been down here. Take a left, then right, and then another immediate right. Big right. Take a left. Then at the bottom of the wishbone, go straight across. Door three, right there. Door three is closed. Door number four. Come on, spin it, spin it. Door number four. Boom, done. Oh. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get stuck yet. And then we go straight down this hallway. Nice long hallway. Take a left at the end. And then we cut across the top of the H. Or uh, the middle of the H. Take another right. Paint shop is just to our left. And the bottom part of the cave. Right here. Check this door. Oh, oh come here. Door number five is closed. Door... No, door number four. Door number five is closed and oh come on gotta go that way there we go take a right door number six should be here Boom. and door number seven come on door number seven door number seven's open yay I love it when door number seven's open it's like the the most memorized way to go for me. Now we need to go to the left here. There's a little S turn. Turns into the second part of the cave. If you if you know what part I'm talking about. Take a right, then a left, then straight on till morning. Come on, buddy. Let's go to the blue wood. Boom. There it is. Oh, they're not very big. That's good. Uh, oh, let's just go grab this one down here. It looks like it's about to die. Dude, where are your leaves? Oh wait, I don't want to cut there, I want to cut here. There we go. Alright, and... I'm not clicking at the right rhythm, I don't think.
There we go. That's the rhythm. Man, these are actually chopping pretty well. Go Twitter Axe. Ooh. We have we have some wind outside. Did you hear that? That's crazy. Come on. We're we're, we're gonna take a, a full truckload of this stuff. If you get the chance to purchase a Twitter axe off someone, you should definitely do it. Because it is definitely worth it. I know in in in, in tech times, no. In times axes are very cool, but the Twitter axe is where it's at. Uh, I'm just telling you. Like Okay, here we go. Here we go. Should I just take the big pieces? I should just take the big pieces, right? I want I want to kind of see how much this all brings me. So, I'm at 3.9 million. I don't know that's going to make that big of a difference. 39, uh, 3.9, 3,981,563. By the way, math. Math is a wonderful thing to learn. Be sure to learn math. Even if it's like your worst subject and you're like, oh, I hate math. It's still good to know. Always. That's just not going to fit, is it? Nope. All right. You get over in the corner right there. Good. And you can go get in this corner right there. Oh, you fit. Nice. Hold on. Can I make you fit? Uh, I'm not going to chop that. I'm not going to chop that. No, 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 no. Okay. Think I could speed run this stuff back? What? What is my obsession with the speed run? Oh my gosh. One person comes out and says, I can do better than you. And then boom. I'm like, ah, competition. It's time. Mm. But um, since the speed runs, there's actually been three other people who have uh, beat my score. So speedrun.com, go check them out. There is um, Lumber Tycoon 2, uh, Rookie X Speed Quest, or Rookie X Quest uh, Speedrun, which is really cool. I, I, thought, I thought that was the coolest. Oh my gosh, are we, are we going to be able to get all this? This is, this is a lot. Just saying. Oh, get up there. I don't know that the whole tree is going to fit in there. Uh oh, you fell out. Yeah, it slid down in there nicely. Nicely done. GG. Good, good game. gonna fall out isn't it oh no uh, oh 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 there we go there we go code why why are you getting on the blue wood I have no clue I, I don't know I don't need it I don't, I don't need to sell it off I, I was just down here and I thought hey I'll go check to see if the the maps open if it is then maybe I could collect some some wood and, and bring it back for uh, for fun you know and it gives me a good time to like talk to you guys and just just hang out. Uh, it's Christmas Eve, <sighs> and I'm on a keto diet. <laughs> no, I know, but I have to say, this diet has been absolutely bliss. Um, 
I am not a big health nut. I never have been. Uh, I eat what I want, and I, I love Oreos. I love junk food. But I got up to 290 pounds, almost 300 pounds. That's unhealthy. Okay? And if you're almost 300 pounds, I encourage you to do something about it. All right? And I'm not going to sugarcoat it and be like, oh no, poor you, it's genetics, da da da. No, it's simple science. I didn't watch what I ate, and I ate a lot. And I ate a lot of carbs and sugars and stuff like that. And this is the crazy thing. So, like, the, the keto diet, it involves switching your fuel source. Because humans uh, have... Oh, Hold on. Slow it down, slow it down, slow it down. Slow. Oh, I knew it. I knew all that was going to come out as soon as I hit that wall. Humans have become adapted to eating tons of sugar, eating tons of uh, carbs. And carbs are basically breads, okay? Um, no, 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 not really. Uh, carbohydrates. Anyhow, the point is that's your main fuel source like right now as you sit there that is your main fuel source it's not because you you meant for it to be but that's the way it is so with keto um basically what you do is you switch your fuel source to fat wait what what fuel source is fat yes in fact your liver is adapted to do so it's just nobody does and um Basically, you switch over from eating like, I can still eat McDonald's. <laughs> I can still eat um, fast foods. It's just how I eat the fast food that's changed. Everybody's like, oh, get a salad, get a salad. It's, it's great, let's get a salad. No, it's not great because a salad contains tomatoes. Tomatoes have sugars, sugars are carbohydrates. Uh, a, a cheeseburger. A cheeseburger has a bun. It has onions. It's got uh, ketchup. All of that's carbohydrates. Like it all converts down into sugars, which is the the first fuel. What you need to do is convert over to the secondary fuel, which is completely fats. What does that mean? I get to have a double quarter pounder with cheese, no bun, no onion, no uh, ketchup, and it's still awesome. That's just way too much. You know what? We'll just go. We'll just go. Hopefully I don't hit any walls. I could have drove up that backwards. Or driven the whole thing backwards. But then I wouldn't be able to see where I was going. So. Oh gosh. Come on. Get. Uh, okay. That's. That's. Uh, fine. Fine. Stay. Stay in the truck. Anyhow. The. The. Um, the food that I eat is high in fats, so I get stuff like bacon, and eggs, and cheese, and all kinds of stuff. In fact, bacon is my fuel. <laughs> if I'm feeling hungry, I eat some pork rinds, um, vegetable oil, or not vegetable oil, uh, olive oil. Olive oil is so good. It makes everything taste like popcorn or butter. <clears throat> Anyhow. Um, like I said, I'm not big at, a big health nut at all. I don't regulate like that. Uh, I'm not a vegan, so don't ask me if I'm vegan. I'm not. I, lo I love meat. I love food. But with this diet, I have gone from 290 pounds, 295 pounds, down to, get this, 200 and 53 pounds and I'm still going and the reason why it's working is because once your body is fat adapted I don't feel as hungry as I always do like as soon as the sugars were gone I was like oh I gotta eat again I'm hungry I'm hungry with with this your body is like no you've got you've got tons of fat on your body I'll just use that as fuel you're not hungry oh that's kind of cool so, that's what it does, is uh, you eat, and you, you keep track of how many carbs you take in, 
you make sure it's all high fat content. Um, you don't take in a lot of proteins because apparently your proteins can actually get converted over into carbohydrates. The body will naturally do that with, with proteins. So not too much protein. But that's what I've done. And I've been having the best time with it. It's, it's so good. Uh, lunches. Lunches are kind of cool because like I'll take an avocado, mayonnaise, mustard, tuna, throw it all together, kind of mix it up. It's pretty good. Holy cow, 25 minutes. I am so sorry. That took forever. Uh, I'll tell you what, I will pause it here so um, we don't go over our time too far. And I'll just, I'll, I'll wait for um, Hoover. And then uh, I'll plank these out and we'll, we'll finish out the video. So hang tight. Oh, and I do apologize. I have been completely ranting about keto. It was just something I was thinking of. Well, he, here, here's Hoover, but he took took a while. So it's going to be another seven minutes uh, on the boat ride. So um, I will put my boat, or I, I'll put my boat onto the car and then wait for you. Uh, now I'll I'll put the truck on and we'll we'll come back. Oh no, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. If you ever get in a situation where you're st no Hoover, <laughs> I did it again. Yeah, you did. Oh gosh, now I'm really stuck. Hold up, hold on. Can I? No, I'm high centered. Oh no. Okay, we gotta get out. Um, let's see here. What can I do to correct this? Let's get these. And if I just do a double rotate, I think that would uh, that would do it. There we go. Get in the car. Oh, um, mm, mm, yeah. Mm. Okay. Well, I'm going to have to do it while I'm in the car, aren't I? There we go. One more. There we go. Okay. Now I should be able to back it up. Take it forward. Go back. Just a little bit. Like that. Boom. Then I can hit a B. And we'll start packing up again. Get the get the big ones on the bottom first. Was this one that's no, it did not fit in the side. And then that one goes there. And then this one goes right here in this side. Oh, come on. Get in there flat. There you go. They'll turn they'll turn sideways here in a little bit. That one doesn't go there. Hold on. Where's the where's the other ah, there you are. It's like a little puzzle. Like a, a little puzzle game for me. Boom, boom, boom. Hold on, hold on. How do I... How do I get you in there sideways? Oh, 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 okay. Okay, okay. I see how it is. That's how you're gonna play. That's how you're gonna play? We're gonna play. You wanna play? There we go. A A Ron. Where's A A Ron at? For all the adults that just got that joke, thank you. <laughs> oh man. Okay. I need to actually talk because <laughs> I was just thinking about that joke. That's funny. Um what do we, it's Christmas Eve. It's Christmas Eve. What are you doing watching my video? Seriously. You should be celebrating and hanging out with family and, and friends. <sighs> now, I am not naive, all right? Because I also know that there are some situations where families can't get together. And there's some situations where you might not have so many presents under the tree. Or you might not have any presents at all. There might be situations where you have lost a loved one this year, all right? And I want to tell you, I am sorry. I'm sorry for your loss. I'm sorry for your your situation. And I hope that my video has made it a little bit more bearable, a little bit more time in the day, you know? There's always help out there. And there's, there's always... 
some... Oh, oh, come on. There's always someone who's worse off. Now, that's kind of a depressing thought, and it's, it's kind of sad, but I want people to realize that you're out there, and you're still human, and you're still loved. Okay? I love you. If nobody else has said it to you today, I love you. And I think that's something that I take for granted saying sometimes. Because I've, I've seen it before in my comments where uh, a guy or boy or someone will say, I love you. And then after that, write, no homo. I want to be perfectly clear. Homosexuality and love are not the same thing. Okay? I, d I don't want you to feel like that. You can say, I love you to me, and I, I am perfectly fine with it. I love you too. And if you are in the world and people around you, and you say, like, I love you, man, to someone, and they're like, bro, you gay or something? Not cool. That's, that's not cool. That's something that you would have said back in the 90s. And we're past that. This is 2020. In fact, it's almost 2021. We are going into the age where we're supposed to be having flying cars. I remember them telling us back in, in like middle school and elementary school and high school, by the year 2020, we'll have flying cars and we'll have super robots and blah, blah, blah. Well, we're almost there. I mean, we do, we have flying machines and we have things that are really cool, but I mean, it's not public transportation yet, you know? We got Elon Musk working on the rockets and stuff. That's pretty cool. Um, and the explosion that was, it was a good run. They got the data that they needed, but it was still an explosion. So it's a, it, you know, looking at the bright side of things, whatever your situation is, this, this Christmas Eve, I want you to know that my channel is still here. There's tons of videos to, to help you relax through the night. If you need somebody who's family friendly, no curse, no cuss, and who's willing to say, I love you on, on video, on stream and mean it. And not just because like, oh, there's a bunch of streamers and they're saying, I love my fans. No, honestly, like you guys have seen my channel, you know what it's about. And I hope it has brought some joy to your life. So from, uh, yeah, I've gone over, haven't I? <laughs> I was waiting for Hoover to take me back, but that's okay. We don't need to go that far. And in fact, I don't even know if I'm going to keep this, this load of wood. I'll, pro I'll, pro I'm, probably just going to jump out because, oh, in fact, I am going to jump out right now. In fact, it's, it might trigger a couple of you. Don't be mad. I just closed it. So, um, hold on while I load something. This is unity. More specifically, this is my personal project that I'm creating alongside all the lessons that I've been taking on unity, learn, learn.unity.com. Um, this is the personal project that I hope to have done by the time I finish all the classes and do everything. Um, you guys tell me all the time, like, Code, when do you have time to make videos? <sighs> Better yet, when do I have time to have a full, excuse me, full-time job, family, wife, kids, house, YouTube, uh, Discord, Twitch, all this extra stuff. I make time. So the excuse saying of like, oh, I don't have enough time is not true. It is currently 12.27 a.m. at nighttime while, while I'm recording this. I'm going to have it scheduled, thumbnail done, and uploaded by the time 1 o'clock rolls around. Ouch. And I will have completed another one of these missions, another one of these uh, these things, the, the classes that I'm taking. You can find time. Go and create yourself an account at unity.com. It's it's under the learning section and there are tons of things. And it's not just this, I mean, it's programming too. So like my player control script right here, you double click on it, it opens up, you're going into Visual Studios and it's programmed in C Sharp. So there's a bunch of different things and it's clean code. It's awesome code. So, <sighs> I wanted to kind of show this to you for just a second. Hold on, let's let it load. There it goes. Nice, clean code. Uh-oh, what happened? Why, why did it switch? 
Oh, oh, because of that. Okay, cool. So this right here controls my camera to keep it on top of the player. Here's the uh, player controls, and it takes into account the move player function that I created, and it takes in inputs, stuff like that. Anyhow, this is going to be called the Uber, dri Uber Driver Rush. And here's kind of what it looks like so far. Hold on, let's see if it crashes. There we go. Okay, try again. And play. There it is. Okay, so you'll be this Uber driver right here, and uh, you'll go around. You'll pick up uh, people. They'll they'll send you messages on the cell phone. I have a little cell phone down here in the bottom that pops up, and it'll tell you your next uh, commission, or your next fare, where you're supposed to go. You go and pick that person up, and then you drive them to their uh, their destination. So. It's kind of small at the moment. Let's see if I can pop this out. Make this a little bit bigger. There you go. So this would this would be about the size of the game. Now this is not in Roblox. This is inside Unity. And I have been very careful to program it to kind of look like a car. But again, it's very, very primitive. Just starting out. You want to make sure that the controls are correct first. And you want to make sure everything is good. But that's what I've been working on. So a lot of you say, "Hey, code, what what are you doing?" Like, what? and I'm like, "I'm I'm working, I'm doing some cool stuff." So, well, that's that's about that, um, and it's very simple primitives at the moment. So these are going to be your three types of enemies. One of them is going to be like uh, another Uber driver. Another one's going to be um, a cop. So, like, if you if you hit things or if you run over people or if you do anything illegal, it's going to give you a wanted level, stuff like that. Um, these are going to be uh, customers that will be standing outside. These are going to be um, power-ups, maybe speed power-ups or maybe timer slowdowns, what, whatever the case may be. But um, the point is I'm... I'm really advanced in programming and stuff like that, so the lessons feel very easy to me. But I want to encourage you, go and program. Go and build. Go and create. Whether it's in Roblox, whether it's in Unity, whether it's in Unreal Engine, or anything. Blender. Go download Blender. GIMP. Go, go paint something in GIMP. Just program. Learn continue with what you're doing and it's never too late to start if you're an old person watching this or if you're a parent who's sitting in the background right now and not paying attention to the video because your kids watching hi parents you can continue to go and learn and and do more become become better so anyhow that's it that's all i wanted to say I know I rant a lot, and I know I come up with a, a bunch of excuses of why people don't go and do this kind of stuff, but it, it's really it's really situational. So there's some people that really don't have time, or they're so tired after the, the work that they do that they don't have an, an, a knack to go and do it. So I love you guys very much. Have a great night, and I will talk to you very... Oh, wait, wait, wait. I'm supposed to do the outro thing. Hold on. Um, because if I don't, then YouTube gets mad. Thank you everyone for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2 with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end of the videos like a good YouTuber does. And we'll talk to you very soon. We'll talk to you next time. Soon. Thank you very much. I think I got everything. Outro. Want some new merch? Check out teespring.com. Outro.